Hi Scorpio, welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. <clears throat> this is the August mid-month reading and I am going to do it in the same way that I did the first two weeks of August. So this week will be the week we just ended. This is the uh, week we are in now and ending on the 31st. I would like to thank all of you for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos. And to those of you who have booked readings with me and made donations to my channel, I love doing this for you, as I always say, and I will continue to say that. Um, if you would like a personal reading, please go to AscendingSoulsJourney.com, click on the Reading and Guidance tab, and you can select whichever of those two tabs that you feel is appropriate for you and pay for it right there as well as donations. I believe it's in a couple, uh, two or three different areas on the website as well. So, Scorpio, looking at your career finance section, some of you have been working really, uh, you know, you, you've worked very hard, you've got it all together, you feel like you're very abundant in your world. You maybe have just either heard that you're going to get a promotion, a raise, or maybe an opportunity has presented itself in a financial situation, uh, uh, like for investing. Um, but I think it's more about an opportunity, a job offer that's coming where you're going to, you just came out of this energy or you may be feeling it right now, but the strength card is here indicating that you have the strength, courage, the willpower, you can move forward if you choose to. Um, but before you do, they want you, the end of last week, if you didn't already have this happen, it may be occurring for the some of you right now. The hangman is about being calm and waiting, looking at the situation from a whole different perspective perspective. That's why the hangman's upside down. Instead of standing upright looking, when you change the way you look at things, you see it in a very different light. And by doing that, you're going to see that this opportunity, this offer that's coming, is going to not only be an amazing beginning of a career or a financial endeavor that is going to lead you to success. I mean, it is going to be something you're going to be very, very passionate about. Maybe you get to actually do what you're passionate about. When we're so lucky to, and I feel it's very lucky, many people take jobs because they need the job. So they work the job and that's all it is, is a job. This is saying this is going to be something you're passionate about and you're going to absolutely love it. You're going to be working for somebody who is very clear in their communication. Also, even though they've been through everything, this very intelligent person, okay, this opportunity that's coming, stable, grounded offer with a person, a company, leadership, okay, whoever the leaders are, you've got a very generous organization or opportunity that's coming to you where you can know what they say is what they mean okay um, for those of you who have had experiences where you're working in a career or company even your own people say things they don't mean it they say yeah yeah you're gonna get a raise and you don't mean it you don't it doesn't happen this particular opportunity this offer that's coming through for the group of you they are going to mean what they say. So, leading into the first, the last week of August, you need to step back and assess the situation. Look at what you have and look at the opportunity that's in front of you because you have another new beginning and this is about abundance, right? So, not only are you gonna be able to create an abundant world for yourself, you are going to have that passion you have the strength, the determination to move forward. Yes, it may be sad, absolutely. Leaving people that we like because we, you know, our work family is a family. You know, these are people we talk to every day. We interact with them every single day. And yeah, it's kind of sad to leave them. But when you do, you're going to blossom. Okay, you are absolutely going to blossom in this opportunity. 
it's gonna give you something to celebrate. So make sure that you, if it hasn't already occurred, when this offer comes in for the group of you, and you could get more than one offer actually, so you may even be putting your resume out there. You may be putting the word out there on social media that you are looking. But I think this is gonna just kind of pop up to you. I, um, for some of you, you're happy where you're at, but this is gonna be so much more for you, all right? Um, now when it comes to love, some of you have been working at, and this is the energy ending last week, rolling into this week. The Ten of Cups is a happy home, happy family, happy life. Nine of Cups is having so much love and joy and abundance you want to celebrate. Um, you have a lot of people here. You've got the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you also have two brand new beginnings. One is filled with passion and romance and love. It's hot. It's nice. It feels good, right? And the other one is going to bring you not only the, well, you may have two offers. So you may have an offer from a queen of, uh, the queen of pentacles, again, this is male or female. Queen of pentacles is a person who, who is very well rounded, very grounded and stable. King of cups is a person who's, who's emotionally mature. They're, they're giving, they're generous. They open up, they're loving. Queen of Swords is a person who's been through hell and back again. They have had every kind of negative relationship you can think of, but they've also had good relationships. This person knows how to do it. They take the lesson from it and they turn it into wisdom. So they are able to move into a new relationship in a positive way, filled with truth and clarity. And... You, yeah, some of you have a, a couple opportunities to move forward, but this, for this one group, you've got an opportunity coming. There it is, that's what I wanted. Um, you've got an opportunity coming in that is um, solid, grounded offer coming to you, and it's going to be filled with passion and love and truth and clarity you get to be who you are you get to stand strong in who you are so make sure you assess the situation some of you may be walking away from something but i don't know necessarily that it's a person of course for some of you it is but some of you it may be just your thinking that you're walking away from it may be thoughts from prior like made you feel sad and that's okay it's okay to be sad so feel the sadness feel it let it out and then let it go and move forward um, so the angel cards are let your friends help you ask for and accept from others so while you're contemplating this decision and assessing the situation Go to your friends, but make sure it's somebody you trust. I mean, this could be somebody you trust, okay? One of these characters, one of these court cards here, may be somebody that you uh, actually trust. And that's the person you need to go to. The person who's going to tell you the truth about the situation. But it's very important that you be truthful, all right? Whoever you're dealing with and whoever the person is that's making the offer, you need to make sure you're truthful about it as well. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. When they come in and they offer you this, be yourself. Be strong. Be true in who you are and open up. Give and receive love because this could be the one. That's what's going on here. This offer that's coming in is 
an, uh, it's, it's a beautiful beginning. You've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. I mean, you got great cards here. You got really great cards here, Scorpio. Um, yes, it could be somebody from the past. I know some of you are wondering. There's always an opportunity to have it be somebody from your past, which may be why Let Your Friends Help You came out. And it's important that you express your love. Um, we are in, you know, Mercury and retrograde. We do have people coming back from our past. And yeah, you do. Well, you have the Ace of Wands. So you've got communication coming in and you have somebody coming in from your past for some of you. And it's very important that you actually sp speak up. Make sure you allow them to, to, to do their share of speaking as well. But it's really important that you speak up. And before you, you answer, make sure you assess the situation. Because they're going to come in and offer you a beginning. Then you're gonna, and then they're going to come back and offer you a beginning again. Yeah. For some of you, this is going to be absolutely beautiful. And um, yes, yeah, some of you may be walking away from somebody. And instead of leaving for good, you actually, after reassessing the situation, you go back and they've offered you an opportunity. Let's, let's rebuild our relationship. Let's start from the ground up and build a brand new foundation. So you need some time to think about it and you're going to accept. So this is really nice. Express your love. Stay strong in who you are. You have the strength and the willpower to move forward in the direction that you want. We all have the love life that we truly want. If we have no love in our life, that's because we don't want love. We create the world that we want. And that's with career, that's with love, that's with everything what we truly desire so that's why our thoughts are very very important if we hold on to things that make us sad it can bring negativity into our thinking all right you guys have been there i know you have so this negative thinking is what can sabotage our own success our own happiness our own love not just love of other people of another but love of ourself we start looking at ourselves in a negative way stay focused stay positive hold strong and we'd love to hear your comments I mean I know this is gonna resonate with some of you so it'd be really cool to read it um, so Scorpio I hope you have an absolutely wonderful next two weeks and I will see you in September. Much love.